Hello Wix community, Michael Strauch here. I am one of the Wix design experts here that gets to work with you, the amazing community of Wix users. And I am starting a brand new series here on the Wix community channel called Get the Dish, the Inside Scoop with Michael Strauch. Now, if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about who I am, head over to wixmywebsite.com. Check that out. Feel free to learn more about me and what I do and what my company does. But other than that, I'm here to bring you new videos about brand new betas that Wix releases. Now, these betas have been approved and uh, well approved and sent over to me to do a little video review on and a little summary about what they are and what they do. Well, I bet you couldn't guess it, but our first one is Wix Forms. So we are going to discuss how Wix Forms has made a very big impact on this Wix community. Design experts, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Wix Forms has been an excellent new addition to the platform. And we are going to be just messing around with this new Robert and Allen template created by the amazing design talent over there at Wix that puts forth these awesome templates for the amazing community to use. So let's dive right into Wix Forms. We're just going to create a new page here and uh, just show you what it's all about. We'll add our form to the page. Perfect. So now we get our new page. And to find Wix Forms, you'll go over here to Add. And then you'll go down to Social, nope, Contact. And you'll come right here over to Wix Forms on the side of the page. And you'll click BAM. And you'll see it's still in beta. And then we have a couple different options here. So Wix has already kind of preloaded or pre-made some custom forms, I guess you can say. And they tried to make them based off of what the most popular forms are on the platform. Design experts, you know this as much as I do. And we know there have been plenty of forms that we wish we had the ability to create in Wix. And technically now we have unlimited possibilities with forms in Wix because you have Wix code, you have Wix forms uh, beta, and then you also have your external plugins, your 123 forms, your job forms, your different forms like that. But now we can avoid, well, I don't want to say avoid because a lot of people still love that 123 forms or job forms and all those. But now we could technically use an in house system with Wix using this Wix forms beta to resemble and really recreate that exact same type of form you would create in all those external apps beforehand. So it's an awesome new feature and ability. So we see the different options here we have a contacts, uh, we have a sign up a sales leads, uh, support, testimonials, job applications, feedback, price quotes, contests, and quizzes. These are all pre-made different forms that we can have all set and ready for us to go. Well, I know a lot of people out there like to create sales lead forms, and what I mean by that is they like to collect an email or um, in exchange for a yeah, free gift, an opt-in, something of the sorts. So, in the case of that, you'll want to either use sales leads, signups, or contacts. Um, you'll see each one of these little pre-course, pre-made um, forms has a description. Contacts, best for personal use or small businesses. Sign up, best for getting new customers. And sales leads, best for closing your next sale. So based off of that, we'll probably want contacts or signups. And we will go for sign up in this case. And then you click choose. And then ready, 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 it's creating, it's working, it's magic. Here we go, here we go, bam. So then we have our Wix form right here. Now, this is already pre-made and created right here, simple as that, as you can see. However, you may decide that you want to change it up a little bit. To do so, we can first come in here to manage fields. When we click manage fields, which this is on all of the Wix forms, no matter which of those pre-made ones you decided to go with, um, you have the option to choose what fields are mandatory. You can edit the field. You can delete the field straight from here. So if you want a field required, you need to make sure you come in here and make mandatory. Phone, make mandatory. Just like that. So that's how you make required fields. If you want to unrequire a field, you'd come in here, make optional make optional make optional just like that and then if you decided hey you know what I want to add a new field you simply come in here add new field and then you can choose any one of these different options here the cool thing is 
all of these will sync up with Wix contacts. So the, your Wix contacts app that's located in your Wix dashboard will automatically sync up to this Wix forms beta. So it's awesome because any information submitted, personal information, so name, phone number, email, company, position, phone, you know, uh, date of birth, all those type of different fields will sync straight into that contacts list. So that way, if someone fills out a form right here on your website, it'll go straight into that contacts app on your Wix dashboard and it's created and it's a nice little contact and it will have all their information per contact so an awesome little feature great that it links up there that's how you add new fields now say you wanted to change the settings up a little bit form settings well come in here you could change the form name right here and this is for the internal form name so what it's going to be called um, in your Wix account and then you'll choose right here your submissions so if you want notifications from your form, so every time a new form is filled out, you can add what email gets the notifications right here. This is your primary. And then you could even add a secondary email that will also get notifications every time a new form is filled out. In the settings, you will also be able to set your success message and your error message. So your success message is once they submit the form, what will pop up? What will that message be on the screen? And then your error message is if there's a missing field um, or you know a, a missed a missed uh, yeah pretty much a missing field. I mean that that's primarily what your error messages are. Um, you'll put in what the error message is right there, and then you could choose right here data sync. So you can choose data for this form is automatically synced with Wix, Wix contacts as we discussed. And then you can select a label for contacts who submit this form. So you can either add them as a customer or contacted me. In this part of the process, it's probably just going to be contacted me if you're just collecting their information. However, if this is a person that's going to be buying something or going through your sales lead form or anything like that, you may want to mark it as customers um, because then it will list them as a customer in your Wix contacts uh, application. So this is a cool feature, and it's awesome that you get to choose, uh, you know, how the data syncs and how all of this links up to Wix contacts. And then right here, you can see every form submission is sent straight to your Wix inbox, which means you get a notification. And if you have the Wix app on your phone, you'll get a notification straight to your mobile device as well. And then guys, you can choose the different layouts right here. You could choose all different form layouts, whether it's gridded, triple gridded or just a vertical layout and then as always you have uh, complete control over the design of your form the different fields everything like that you can see you come here you can choose your background color uh, the color of your text the font of your text and then you choose your design fields just like that and then if you click individually on the different fields the button you could change the design of all of those individually as well other than that, maybe adding some animations will be part of your form, but that is pretty much a simple overview and uh, really review of which forms, the new beta. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you got the inside scoop here with me. Again, if you'd like to learn more about me, head over to WixMyWebsite.com. Other than that, thank you guys for being such an amazing community, and I look forward to seeing you on our next beta test.